Up live from last week, episode 60. Let's go to Lola's. Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Lab from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier this morning, after getting this much sleep, waking up at 4 a.m., I was way too excited to go snowboarding today. And so, just like last week, as you can tell by these videos, I made the trip to Blue Mountain and snowboarded for the second day in a row. I hope you guys really enjoyed that music video and a big thank you to Philip and Noman for joining me in my Blue Mountain experience earlier today. But yeah, gonna pick up the wife after her day shift, treat her to some food just like this London fried chicken takeout that we had last night, having it for the first time in over a month, and as you can easily tell by this video, the food was absolutely delicious. That pretty much wraps up my day for today and I'll just check in with you guys again tomorrow. So after dropping off the wife in downtown Toronto for her night shift this evening and being motivated just like this clip from last week to do some workouts, after watching some clips from the Olympics with sports like snowboard cross, the exciting sport of short track speed skating, the exhilarating event of big air on the skis, and watching some of my favorite athletes like Chloe Kim on the half pipe, I am now here at Gerard Square at my local Planet Fitness to start training just like an Olympic athlete. Just kidding, I'm only here to use the hydro massage beds. And after snowboarding yesterday and falling on my butt a couple of times, these massages feel so good. Woo, round number two. Just started round number three. Gotta work my glutes, guys. From wiping out my butt from snowboarding yesterday, it's so sore. Time for a massage. Number four. Oh dear, my body's all jelly now. All right, guess it's time to go back home. Number five. Honestly guys, I don't even know how I'm gonna drive home tonight. I'm gonna be just like Jello behind the wheel. 
All right, after I ran into a Planet Fitness associate here who convinced me to get a fifth massage, I think it's time to go home. Oh, how did I stand after that? I'm feeling dizzy. Ooh. So of course, me being as stubborn as I am, I stayed up until 2 a.m. this morning, only getting this much amount of sleep. But I think it was worth it because I was able to watch some more live coverage of the Olympics. Including things like a Japanese male figure skater attempting the first quadruple axle in Olympic competition, Canadian Olympic male figure skater Keegan Messing putting it down for Canada, and my favorite Olympic snowboarder at this time, Chloe Kim. Let's go Chloe! <laughs> Level 11! She was representing her country well, almost landing a 1260 cab snowboarding trick on oh. the super pipe. But yeah, definitely interesting stuff to catch at the Olympics. Although it was kind of controversial on my part because I still had to wake up at 6 a.m. in order to pick up the wife from work after her night shift in the morning. Fully knowing that I'm going in for my first of my two night shifts tonight. But anyways, I just want to let you guys know about a little adventure that I went on earlier this afternoon involving a potential Facebook Marketplace purchase that I was browsing while I was staying up late last night. The thing was, the pickup was all the way in Brampton and it would take me at least two hours round trip just to pick up this product. But yeah, spoiler alert, I did make my way to pick up that mystery package. But unfortunately for you guys, I'm not gonna reveal it today, rather waiting until this weekend after my set of night shifts so that I can fully enjoy this product with you guys on my days off. Anyways, before I go into shift tonight, I just want to point out to you guys the shirt that I'm actually wearing today. This shirt, which features an olive tree on the front, is actually a shirt that's in memorial of my Tita Olive, who exactly eight years ago today passed away. But yeah, here's a quick shout out to my Tita Olive. I enjoyed the fun times that you would take me out to the eating center to have some food, treating me out to McDonald's, but this is just to let you know that we're still thinking about you on this day and we're praying for you. Hope you're praying for us too. And be sure to say hi to all those who have gone before us up in heaven. But yeah, thanks again for all the memories, Tita Olive. Bye for now. So after night shift this morning, I find myself having a difficult time going to sleep and staying asleep. And it might be because of a couple of reasons. I recently heard on the radio that one of my favorite radio stations since I was in high school, the great Flow 93.5, which had promos back in the day of Mary J. Blige's Family Affair, all the way back in 2001, is closing up shop and moving the radio station to 98.7. Which just means, starting February 14th, I'll have to change my preset of that radio station in the mini. I also don't think I can get some sleep because I'm too excited for my days off. Because as you guys can see, I'll be able to be playing with my Brand new toy. But yeah, before I go in for my second night shift tonight, we have a couple birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my classmates back at Ryerson and a friend that I used to work with back at the hospital several years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sarisa. Happy birthday, Sarisa. We also have a birthday greeting to one of our consistent fans out there on Jaywalker POV. A dance bomb that was always supportive of us dancers when we were doing competitions back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Susan. Happy birthday, Susan. I'm hoping that my friends out there that are having their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had great birthday celebrations for your birthdays this year. Well, guys, last night was a crazy busy night shift to the point where I'm feeling really tired and a little bit burnt out charge nursing, dealing with patients' issues that aren't even in the hospital, talking down other patients from their anxiety crises, moving around patients in the middle of the night, a couple of drains that were leaking and dressing changes every couple of hours, not to mention having a full patient assignment. But it's good now because at least I have a couple days off to recover. But for now, it's time to get ready for this very busy day that I have planned ahead. While commuting home, I saw a couple of police checkpoints on University Avenue blocking off the area for a potential protest this weekend around Queens Park before a post-night shift visit to Lola with the wife, Faye, and the Duave. And just like how I used that $12 Walmart shovel while visiting Tito Noel last month, 
we used it yet again to help clear up Lola's sight. Bye, Lola. Happy Valentine's Day. New gift for Lola. We got you covered, Lola. We got you covered, Lola. Hi, Lola. We love you, Lola. -bee. Thumbs up. Then, after getting home and trying out this new lavender balm that is said to help you sleep, of which I took as a giveaway from that hotel room when I visited Blue Mountain last week, I put it on and I tried to have a decent post-night shift nap. But unfortunately, I was only able to sleep a couple of hours before going shopping to buy a big birthday balloon for my dad because today is his birthday. Then, after finding room in the mini to fit the big balloon... Yes, that's fine. <laughs> there you go. Let's go. We made the short trip to Pickering for a sushi dinner to celebrate Tito Eddie's birthday. Like your surprise, Dad? Yes! <laughs> so yeah, Tito Eddie, hope we did you well by surprising you with our presents, that big birthday balloon that we got you, as well as treating you out to your favorite sashimi dinner tonight. And here's a cheers to you for 70 more years of you being Chuck Norris. Cheers, Dad! Man, is it ever looking like... I am having some trouble sleeping. Last night, I took some of these, which claim it helps you fall asleep and stay asleep, but I woke up only after a five hour nap. So I guess I'll just try to be productive at this hour, edit some live from last week footage, and hopefully later this morning, I'll be able to go back to sleep to have enough energy to last me the rest of the day. So wish me luck guys. So after editing some video, taking a quick nap, and then watching some long track speed skating, one of my favorite events in the Olympics, I remember that a couple of weeks ago, I made a spontaneous buy from the Best Buy website. And fully knowing that I will probably return this item sometime in the future because I know I didn't need it, I decided to open the box today and reveal the contents of this spontaneous buy to you guys today. And check it out, it was a GoPro Hero 9. So in the afternoon, I went back to Best Buy to see if I could return it and said farewell to my spontaneous $500 purchase. But while I was there, and since it is the Super Bowl tonight, some big screen TVs actually caught my attention. I started measuring these TVs with my bare hands to see if they would actually fit in my living room. And I was thinking, should I buy this one or should I buy that one? But luckily, I had the restraint not to buy any TVs today. And instead, use the money to buy dinner for the Super Bowl tonight. Look at all the cars here, ready for delivery slash takeout for all the pizzas that are gonna be eaten for Super Bowl tonight. And obviously, since I'm a Ryerson graduate, we're gonna be cheering tonight for the Rams. Woo, pizza, 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 Super Bowl. Pizza Super Bowl. So as per usual protocol in terms of delivering these pizzas, I turned on and utilized the mini seat warmers and kept them warm for the wife and I to enjoy them for the Super Bowl game later on tonight. And guys, check out these delicious pizzas that we got from Domino's. 
as well as the chicken wings for the Super Bowl feast. And next, we turn on the TV to start watching and enjoying Super Bowl 56. And also, as a playful bet, the wife and I put a little bit of money on the game. And since it's Super Bowl 56, the winner of the bet would win 56 bucks. But in the middle of the event, we had a historic Super Bowl halftime show featuring acts like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, a special cameo from 50 Cent, and a performance from the legendary Eminem. And by all the reviews that I saw from my friends, especially those back in high school, they said that this Super Bowl halftime show was one of the best that they've ever seen. And I think it maybe is because it brought back some nostalgia about our high school days. And it was a throwback to all the music that we used to listen to and enjoy back when we were younger. Anyways, we continued watching the Super Bowl game all the way up to the exciting end. When, what do you know, my Super Bowl pick, the Rams, won the NFL Championship. Hello. Sorry wife, I guess I win this year's 56 bucks on our bet. But yeah, anyways, in the theme of celebrations, we have a birthday greeting for you guys today. And this one goes out to one of my Ryerson Catholic Chaplaincy slash Ryerson friends back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Mike. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And yeah, once again, a big congratulations to the Super Bowl 56 champions, the Los Angeles Rams. So today is February 14th, aka Valentine's Day. A usual day where couples would celebrate their love for each other. But unfortunately, for me and the wife, I'll have to rain check a date for her and I because tonight I'm going in for a night shift. So I'm breaking out my patented pink scrubs for my night shift tonight and spending Valentine's Day with my patients. But in today's segment, in honor of the color red, the color of love, I might as well change my attire. With a fresh red Blue Jays hat on my head, complemented with a red King Nails hoodie that, if you guys can remember, was from the dance performance by my cousins for our wedding. And yeah, I appreciate you guys being patient with me because I'm finally going to reveal that thing that I got from my trek all the way to Brampton earlier this week. <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is the Insta361R Twin Edition which has crazy features that I'm excited to use in the future, including a 360 camera, image stabilization, a hyperlapse feature, and other things that I'm excited to show you guys in the next couple of weeks. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more creative content in the near future. Anyways, before we wrap it up for this week, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends, who, as a matter of fact, drinks from the Fountain of Youth and plays years younger than she actually is. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Carol. Happy birthday, Carol. As well as another birthday greeting to one of my close friends who I've played softball with and beach volleyball with in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Carta. Happy birthday, Carta. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthday today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that we get to reunite sometime in the near future. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.